Welcome back to Undertale. And look at that. Looks like Papyrus and Sans have joined Toriel in the main menu. Hmm. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. All that gives my life- okay, it's echoing. <laughs> Well, it's time to go on to the King's Castle. Uh, let's see if Sans maybe wants to take another break. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay, some other time. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Before it was a message from a box lover. Now it's from a box hater. Well, I really do not need space or anything like that, so I really don't feel the need to put anything in it. Oh. Oh. I'm guessing if I get hit by one of those, I'm going to go down, down, down. Well, before that, let's see what's down here. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? I don't get this. This perspective is like ruining my mind. I, I thought the water's going beneath the bridge. But if it's going beneath the bridge, then why are the iceberg things going over? Oh, the water's going down, but the momentum of the iceberg things is making them... making them fling out. Okay. Wow, this is like a perspective nightmare. I'm trying to represent this in 2D is very, very difficult. Especially from this perspective, like purely top-down. It's not even isometric. And what the heck is this? It's like a little slit? Like a tightrope? I don't know, I can't walk on it. Huh. And same with this one. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So that's the last thing somebody said around the Echo Flower. Something behind the water, huh? Uh, can I reach it from here? Nope, I think I gotta go up here. Ooh, I've gotta be really careful, though. I'm not gonna have much time to respond. Go! Oh! Hey! There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Uh, let's leave it for now. Are these squeaky toy glowing mushrooms? They sound suspiciously like that mouse. What does it do? Hmm. I guess I'll take it. You got the old tutu. Is it a piece of armor? Old tutu. Armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. <laughs> a tutu. <laughs> okay, well, I already have armor on, but I think defense 10 is better, right? Defense, yeah, defense 7. So, let's put on a tutu. You equipped the old tutu. There we go. So, I guess I put the bandana back in my inventory? Yeah. I guess I'll just press both of these and then leave? I don't know. What if I get knocked down into the abyss? Hmm. Do I want to try it? I do want to try it. Wait, maybe I... 
Oh wait, I don't think I can. Hold on. I think if you fail up there, it just puts you down to the lower level and then the iceberg things can't hit you. Yeah, okay, never mind. You can't go into the abyss. Whoa. The lighting. <laughs> That's really cool and ominous. What is this stuff? <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well no. I, I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I, I failed. W what You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, so Papyrus, I guess to establish a place in the Royal Guard, or at least to make Undyne happy, is now an enemy to me. Probably. Hey! Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. So is it Undyne that's the... she's the... the captain of the Royal Guard, I think? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Hmm. These are the bridge seeds? <laughs> carry them on my head. Everything makes a squeaky noise for some reason. Ah, I see. Beautiful. Aaron flexes in. Oh. Shoe or flex? I'll flex myself. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more, winky face. Whoa. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Okay. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Nice. I won't lose though, winky face. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. <laughs> Goodbye, Aaron. Hey, how do I read that sign? I guess I need to make a bridge to it. This music's so epic. I feel like I'm about to fight a boss or something. Squeaky toys.
If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Oh. That must be the Squeaky Toys. What? I can't make a bridge from there? Can I do it from here? Oh, there we go. Oh. Right, you've got to connect four. Whoops. Come back! Uh, maybe I have to use them all or something. Yeah, I had to put them down there if I wanted to reach it. I forgot you have to connect four. I made a mistake! Hello? I guess it's not those, it's this. But then what are these for? What are they for? They must be for something. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. Thanks. Now I've got to reset it. Okay, so I'm trying to get over there and I need to connect four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can just do this, right? Because I can connect four, but they don't have to be in a line, right? Oh. No, they do have to be in a line. Well, in that case, I really did fail the puzzle. In that case... I... I'm not actually sure. This would be three. That would be three. This would be three. How do I connect four? I mean, I can do it up or down. Like, I could do it this way, but... Oh, no, that is it. Yeah, that's the solution. Oh. Is it Papyrus? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Uh... I don't want to give any information away about where I am or what I'm doing or anything like that. Since I'm assuming Papyrus wants to help me get captured. So that Undyne can take my soul, so I'm going to say no. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Welp, I just lied. If the Pyrus is actually on my side, then... Well... I'm going to ruin our friendship. A long time ago monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Dang, no stars. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. the heck are you? Wushua. Wushua shuffles up. What? What are you? 
your head and like a spinny thing and like waves and like a chicken in a what? What are you? I really don't know what I'm looking at. Touch joke or clean. Uh joke? You tell a joke about two kids who played in a muddy flower garden. Woshua's powers neutralized. No, that joke's too dirty. Whoa. Oh. Woshua's rinsing off a pizza. Oh, are you like a cleaning bucket? Is that what you are? Clean? You ask Woshua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Ooh, I need the- oh, I think I need the green one! Oh, Woshua wonders if tears are sanitary. <laughs> you know, I have no idea. Oh, I, I think that's it. Yep. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Look through the telescope? Of course. Oh, I can actually move it. That's cool. Check wall. Nothing more? Nope. What does that mean, though? Like, try to use the wall? Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Yeah, that, that tends to happen. Alright, now I'm gonna try to use the entire wall. get it. Oh, wait. It's gotta be this, right? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Whoa. I didn't know that was going to happen. Please take me back. Oh. Uh. Is it coming back? Well... The creepy shadows again. Hmm. Am I about to face Undyne? Well, I'm at full health. I've got a cinnamon bun and a bicycle. I guess I'm not too terribly equipped if I do have to fa face Undyne. Hmm. I knew it! Oh! Oh! Oh, holy shit! Okay, this is not the kind of fight I was expecting it to be.
Toho, I've played Toho. <laughs> Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> Whew. How much health did I lose? Decent amount. Lost 8 HP. And there was no opportunity to heal there, either. That's the thing. There's, it wasn't the normal fight dialogue, so I couldn't use items. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Squeak. <laughs> that's, a, that's the last thing it heard. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> Yo! How did you... how did you get here? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Of course. This is a prank, isn't it? satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Is, is that gonna be on my eye forever? It's an odd looking telescope. Can I use it? I can't use it again? Ah, oh, dang it. Like, can I just look through it? Like, through my other eye? What did he even do? I don't I don't get it. Is it just like a red filter that he put over the lens, or is it like freaking paint? I don't know what it is. And what are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I am a superstar. Oh, it's so pretty. I want to get to you, duck. I can't, though. So I think I can go down, but I'm also curious what's in here. Oh, hey! How, how did you get here? I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Now just 25 gold. Uh, no thanks. I've got plenty of food. Still got a cinnamon bun and a bicycle. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. <laughs> yeah, they'll all come crawling to you. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> the box for storing punch cards. 
it's empty right now. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Mold Smalls, haven't seen you in a long time. I believe I don't even need to do anything. Done. Here, pass a conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. One wish, okay, I want to know what it is. Tell me more. Ah, crap, which way do I go? Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu. So of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a du oh. You were wearing a dusty tutu. Ah, oh, I should have told him the truth. It pained me to, uh, pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you. Now you're safe and sound. Wowee. This is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Uh... Should I take off the Dusty Tutu? I'm gonna take off the Dusty Tutu. Let's put on the manly bandana. What's that over there? Is that a special flower? Passing conversation. Uh, don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Hold on. I missed something back here. Let me go check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the area that I missed. This is off to the left. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Of course. Got the ballet shoes. Is that more armor? Ballet shoes? Oh, it's a weapon. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Well, I don't use weapons, so no thanks. Okay, I think that was all I missed, so I'll be right back. Okay, back to here. I feel like I'm gonna be attacked again? What is that? Y yeah, like, like seriously, what is that? you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? What the hell? <gasps> okay, bye. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. 
like all my friends did. All your friends? So you you don't have any friends here? Oh, I think it's lonely. And the aquarium's full. A anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? <laughs> uh-huh. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! <laughs> Shiren. It's not a siren, it's a Shiren. Hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Um... Let's just hum. Maybe the siren will want to hum along with my song. Make a siren song. You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. There we go. Oh! Toho! Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, I, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's all I needed to do. I'm curious, though. What if I do something more? What if I smile? You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Oh, it didn't do anything. Okay, I guess I'll just go. The northern room hides a great treasure. Okay. Wait a minute. What's this? You see this? This block right here that I'm standing on is differently colored from the rest. It's like slightly purple. What's up with that? Hmm. Hmm. I see directions. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Mm hmm. X to quit. Oh, like to stop playing? Oh, I see. Okay, so depending on which one that I hold, if I hold nothing, it selects this note. If I hold left, it selects the left note. And then I just press the use key to actually play the note. Well, damn, that actually sounded pretty good. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to play, though. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? But I don't hear a song. It's completely silent. How do I play along to a song I can't hear? I guess I can just keep having fun with it. I have no idea. I would think that maybe it'd be the background music, but there is no background music. Let's move ahead a little bit and see if something pops up, maybe. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. <laughs> a boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. 
a human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now it never will. Titan souls. Ooh. I feel like I should go back. I don't think I'm going to find the answer to this song up here. Hmm. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. But, but it's being rained on. I'm also wondering if I'm going to find where to put the snowman piece soon. I have gone pretty far. But maybe I'm supposed to... It did want me to put it at the end of the world. Maybe that's the overworld once I escape, assuming I do escape. Hmm, I don't know. I'll go forwards a little bit more. Please take one. Okay. Take an umbrella? Sure. You took an umbrella. Put the umbrella on the statue. Mm-hmm. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Oh, that's the song I need to play. So just the first eight notes are fine. Do 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 something like that. Let's see if I can do this. Let's get the first note. Do. I think that is the first one. Or maybe it's this one. I'm gonna mess around with this, and I might have to go back to uh, to listen to it again. Oh, there we go! I got it. Sweet. <gasps> what is that? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Of course. You're carrying too many dogs. What? Dogs? What? When the hell did an annoying dog get in my inventory? What? Annoying dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. What the f When- How long has an annoying dog been in my inventory? Can I use you? You deployed the dog. <laughs> the dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I've got dog residue. Dog residue. Dog-shaped husk shed from a dog's carapace. <laughs> when do dogs have carapaces? <gasps> Can I use it? I use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. What? You finished using it. An uneasy atmosphere fills the room. They're never going away, are they? Oh my god. You are a very cute and obnoxious little dog. The artifact is gone. 
Well. And what is up with this patch? Look at this. Why is it different from the rest? That's gotta mean something. It's gotta mean something. Do dee do 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 Oh. Maybe I should take another one. Take an umbrella? Mm-hmm. You took an umbrella. Oh, there's even reflections. How cool. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. I I don't remember inviting you along, but okay, come on. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. Um... I don't suppose you named it Flowey the Flower and gave it sentience, did you? The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. We ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. Wait a minute. It was the king's own flower. And the flower mentioned something about regicide, right? It must be one of the king's flowers. Flowey, that is. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Y yeah. Beat up the people that educate young kids. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. There you go, that's better. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Hey, you want your own umbrella? Return the umbrella? Um... I mean, it's still raining, so... no? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Oh, thank you. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> the serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.